Consult 3, the court jester. In this consult technique, one or more people are given the freedom to make comments or ask questions that are naive, contrary or irrational. The aim is to provide the provocation to move away from normal thinking habits, as you saw in the lateral thinking lecture. For example, be contrary, deny the problem, reverse the problem, consider how you could make things worse, make the problem sound like a positive. Or be naive, say, if we had a magic wand we could, or let's just imagine if, or wouldn't it be nice if, and carry on and finish those sentences. Or you can be irrational, ask some bizarre what-if questions, exaggerate the type or nature of the problem, or twist the words of the problem. If you are using the court jester technique in a group problem-solving activity, it is vital that no one makes any judgments about the provocations. The court jesters are being provocative deliberately. So, here's some examples of the court jester in action. And here's our problem. Work sent off to technical experts for quality assurance takes an age to come back, which puts our plans behind schedule. So here are some provocations from the court jester. What if we gave them five years to return it? But from this could come, maybe we could give them longer and allow for this in our plans. Or... Wouldn't it be nice if they didn't have to see it at all? Hmm, we could give it to our customers instead. They're the end users anyway. Or we could send them a hundred products to check at a time. Actually, if we gave them a batch all at once, they're more likely to allocate people to work on it to get them out of their way. So there we have three provocations from the court jester each of which has produced a possible solution.